there are two terms that usually get mixed up and for that we need to differentiate between the two and these are those terms one is the derivative that we usually use but one is the differential which is used comparatively in a smaller frequency so let's try to differentiate between the two terms that are extensively used in mathematics as well as in economics the derivative is represented with dy over dx we already know this and this is the derivative of y which is based upon x variable so it's a single entity ratio of the two quantities that is dy over dt uh, dy over dx in this case and these are two differentials so a derivative is basically composed of two differentials as a ratio of the two dy and dx these are two differentials that are being divided and collectively they become a derivative so in other words you can say that the derivative as is as a ratio of two differentials or differentials of a function uh, that give us the uh, derivative so this is the derivative which is actually the ratio of two differentials and it is also represented with the help of this that is f bar x so we can use this formula to derive the formula of the differential that is dy for that we can simply transfer dx on the other side and this will be the formula of differential of y not the derivative of y this is the differential of the function or the differential of the variable y so differentiation can give us differential we have derived the differential formula from differentiation differentiation with respect to x is this and this is the differential so you can easily see the difference between the two notations now we should talk about the rules of differentials the good thing is that they are same as the rules of differentiation some difference rule was used in the differentiation process here it is the same that is if there is a differential of a function that is composed of the sum or difference of the two functions it will be equal to the sum or difference of the individual differentials of the two functions product theorem in which we have two functions getting multiplied so we take the differential of the first one multiply the second one in its original form and then take the differential of the second function and multiply it with the first function in its original form here you can see the caution formula this will also change slightly that we will talk about the differential only and not the derivative if you remember the formula of derivative of a function which is a quotient then you can also translate that into this rule which is slightly different otherwise the mechanism is the same here there is a stipulation that g0 cannot be 0 because if it is 0 the whole function will become undefined so here we have an example that we can solve this is a function in terms of x as you can see x is a part of a and if we take the differential of it on both sides we will introduce d and then we um, put the values into this formula that we just developed um, a few steps before and you know this is the derivative of this function so the derivative is now substituted in place of it and this is the differential of the given function its differential so this is the uh, given function another one and it's uh, numerical in nature so if we want to take the differential of it d will be introduced on both sides and we will use the same formula which is here the derivative of the function should be written here along with dx which is here and the answer is 6x and uh, this will be the answer so in this way we can easily calculate the differential of any given function just like we use uh, we 
used to do it with the functions whenever we uh, wanted to calculate their derivatives because the rules are the same only the symbols will change 